Hey, what's up everybody? We're over here in Vegas at the awesome card shop. Whoa, there's Keely. She jumps out of nowhere all the time. Anyways, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna do a video and we're gonna see if you guys think this is a cool store that you might wanna stop by when you pass through Vegas. So, we'll see you inside. Alrighty guys, let's listen to some beautiful vintage organ baseball music while we go through this awesome card shop. Uh, I'm gonna give you a, a full, basically a full um, review of what I think of it at the end. Alright, first off, they got a bunch of Beckett's over here on the right hand side. And then they have some Golden Knight stuff, obviously, because they're so popular out there in Vegas. Some signed Funkos, those are pretty cool. Uh, this store... I may just tell you before the end what I think of it. It's got a lot of cool uh, memorabilia signed. Uh, just not your typical card shop because it's got such a great variety of other stuff. There's some blasters. Uh, they have so much awesome wax, including tons of older stuff. And they have a great variety of vintage, new stuff, high end, lower end. I mean, kind of something for everybody. That's uh, Raleigh Finger stuff down there, um, part of his collection uh, that he's got in there on consignment. So he's selling some of the autographs he's gotten over the years and stuff. All uh, right, there you go. That's the first case on the right when you walk in. Some old ticket stubs that he signed and got authenticated and so on. There's some gravity feed boxes. Uh, this is a little wheel where you, I think you pay a price and you spin it and you win something, but look at the wax. It's just, what an inventory. Uh, all the stuff on the shelves up there basically is newer stuff for the most part. And in the cases where I'm going to show you here soon is their older stuff and they have a lot of cool stuff. Some nice uh, custom frame memorabilia over there. This is just a quick pan of the whole thing and then I'm going to get into some of these cases and show you some of the, the nice stuff in here. Uh, got some live TV going on all the time there too, uh, with with games and stuff. Okay, let's, let's start. There's some. You got the uh, non-sport TCG, um, etc., etc. Over there on the wall. Uh, alrighty, let's get into this case here. There's some, uh, I believe, some celebrity autographs, which are very, very cool. I'm a big fan of collecting celebrity autographs. In fact, that's one of my binder PCs. Look at that WWE card in the back. It's cool. Some old 1989 Batman and those uh, Mickey Mouse cards you just seen, the Disney ones. I actually picked up some of those here. I'll let you know toward the end of the video. Here's some nice stuff here. Hopefully I'm not going too fast or too far, but there's some higher and older basketball there. And then you got just the, the beautiful variety of everything from Hobby to Blasters. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's see. They actually had some junk wax down the bottom in the back there that I saw, and I ended up buying a bunch of that too. Spent more money here than I was planning, but uh, it was great. They were great deals, and uh, yeah, I was happy to do it. So uh, definitely, this is definitely one of my stops every time I go into Vegas. There's some cool older baseball, uh, and not to mention the people here were extremely nice. They had a few people working. Uh, There's a lady and a couple gentlemen, and they were. Everyone was very nice. Uh, you know, I, I hate going into card shops where you kind of got those grouchy old East Coast, and I can say that because I'm from New York, uh, attitudes, uh, a little bit of uh, cocky and arrogance, you know. Not people, not people, people, we'll just say. Um, and you guys know what kind of shop owners those are, but these guys right here were just really nice. Maybe it's the, uh, you know, the legalized 420 stuff. Uh, that makes them happy, humble, and kind, but they were definitely happy, humble, and kind. Uh, and I'm not saying that they <laughs> were under the influence, I'm just saying they were very nice and chill and cool, peaceful people. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, nice selection of graded stuff in here, nice selection of uh, memorabilia cards, nice selection of autograph cards, high-end rookies. Um, they had some boxes of some slightly cheaper stuff, uh, but for the most part... You know, anyone could go in here and buy a card uh, on any budget. Uh, and, you know, you could buy something, you know, relatively affordable for 95% of the population. And then they definitely had stuff for the for the top 5% of earners in the country or the world for that matter. Because people come to Vegas from all over the world. All right, there's some cool future Hall of Famers Adrian Beltre stuff. I kind of like to pick some of that stuff up, but... 
Uh, it's, it's already gone up too much. There's some nice stuff right there. Honish Wagner, he's on Babe Ruth's all-time all-star team. I'm going to do a video on that here soon. Babe Ruth did an article back before he passed away in 1948 about who he would choose for his all-time all-star team. And you guys would be surprised with a couple of the people that he chose, I'm sure. But we're going to go over that in a future video. Uh, like I showed in the beginning, there's a cool Sandy Koufax printing plate auto. Uh, back, uh, I did this video back in October, and it had just been sitting in my phone waiting to be uploaded. So it's kind of a late video. You can tell by how short my beard was, uh, which definitely needs to be trimmed or shaved off. Uh, it's kind of funny how we can kind of, I can kind of date videos by how long my horrible homeless man beard is. <laughs> There's some cool older uh, basketball wax. I kind of want to pick some of this stuff up. Just just to, to keep it hold, you know, like nothing big money, but like some of these old blasters of prism and stuff. Um, same with some of this old football. It just wouldn't be fun to do on a video, but unfortunately, it's very expensive and I'm not making very much money on my videos to cover this stuff like some people. And I don't sell spots. I mean, I would like to, but that's just... It just takes a while to build up something like the Jabs family has where everyone just buys into everything. So he can open anything because he he doesn't have to pay. I mean, he pays for it up front, but, you know, I'm sure he's making a buck or two on all that stuff, too. So there's a co couple cool boxes there. The 18 Chrome, that's pretty cool. I remember having, like, eight of those boxes back in the day in my cart, and I was going to buy them, the Megas, and uh, I was going to... Target, or no, I was in a Walmart up in Logan, Utah, in the middle of nowhere, and I was going to buy them all. I walked around and I decided to put them back, and man, if I knew then what I knew now, you know, kind of like the story of everybody's life, if we knew then what we know now, how many of us would just be so wealthy, <laughs> or, or at least so much more financially stable. I'm not saying that I'm, you know, I'm a bum, I mean, I'm, I pay my bills, I make enough money to pay my bills, and and to have a nice life and uh but you know there's not a lot of there's not always a lot of meat on the bone at the end of each week or month or show for that matter because you guys know i'm a full-time dealer um i just try to make a certain amount pay the bills a certain amount to reinvest and then a certain amount to put in savings but uh ideally you know it would be nice if uh we could go back in time and see all the awesome stuff that's going to be worth money down the road and buy it then a fraction of the price of what we would sell it for now. Well, that's going to do it for this video. You guys have a good one. Let me know what you think of the awesome card shop and we will see you in the next one. Let's listen to the rest of this wonderful, wonderful nostalgic song. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and hopefully subscribe.